Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Happy Mother's Day. I have been trying to figure out what I was going to make with this absolutely gorgeous hand dyed yarn that I got from, it's a yarn bee, so I got this one from uh, Hobby Lobby and I've been staring at it. I got two of them and I decided it needed to be something very special. So the specialness is this absolutely gorgeous Mobius shawl. See, it's all stretchy, it's very mesh, great for summer, awesome colors, everything about this was great. So I'm going to show you how to whip this thing out really fast and have something that's so, so gorgeous. I only have this much left of this great big hank, I only have this much left, so this is great. But for this shawl, I chained 90. You will want to chain 90 to get here. I am not going to chain 90 right now. I'm just going to chain for a little while and show you the general idea because every row is exactly the same. Every round is exactly the same. So I'm chaining. This is a 12 millimeter hook. Remember when we're trying to keep something from getting twisted, take the end of your hook and slip it right through. Hold on to this part and keep right on chaining. And you want to chain these loosely because you'll be working in both sides of the chain in order to do the Mobius. So you want to chain kind of loosely. So you're going to work in it two times. That should be enough. Right now in our lat, we're going to take our last loop and pull it right through the first loop and there's no twist. Yay! You know that your chains are all good. Chain one and I am now going to change over to my 12 millimeter. This one's a little bit too fat for me to do my sneaky little, my sneaky little uh, no knot in your chain, no twist in your chain method. So now I'm back here again. What we're going to do is that after that chain one, double crochet in every single chain. All the way around. You can see this gets really loopy because I'm using such a large hook. And this is even a four weight. When I was using it with the one weight, there were loops everywhere. And I just thought it would be a little too difficult to show on the screen where I was actually working because it's so fine and the colors are so light and there's a lot of white in that yarn. So I'm using this four weight so you can get a little bit more definition of my stitches. So I'll meet you back around at the very beginning in just a second. And here's my last chain in that first pass. So let's just double crochet is very, very loosely all the right around. There's our first one. So we want to turn this 180 degrees and then double crochet in the top of every chain again. So on the other side of the chain, all the way around. And that's what's going to give us our twist. So it'll twist in the front. And there, that was my last double crochet in that second pass on our chain. And we have a twist right here. It's perfect. There's a little twist right here that doubled the length or doubled the amount of stitches per round because we worked on both sides of our chain. Our initial chain is right here in the middle. So now all you have to do is keep going, keep double crocheting 
I'm gonna mark this one. That's what I should have been doing. That's what I did all for all of these. Just so easy to lose where you are when you're working with such loopies. But I would just kept going. Double crochet in every stitch all the way around until you are almost out of yarn or out of yarn. I stopped with this tiny little bit left and finished off and that was ended up being 13 rounds. So you just keep double crocheting around and around and around and around and around and you'll be done. So there you can see the twist. Just like there is a twist in the front of this one, and there's my twist. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and have a great Mother's Day. Bye.